Things weren't perfect. But they were pretty damn good. Now that I think about it. Not just this small little redneck town. The entire fucking world. Up until a year ago, that's when everything changed. It was an absolute massacre what Milos did. God damn it. That terrorist motherfucker. Piece of shit. Milos al Shaitan. This is all his fault. The apocalypse. Or at least that's what it seems like at this point. Walked hundreds of miles and I sat at this place and nothing. Nobody. Except for these blood sucking zombies. Didn't fucking ask for this. Just a fucking welder. See, Milos had created a serum that promised immortality. Some bought in and they quickly fell to their deaths. But ultimately he was right. Because a couple days later they all came back to life as fucking zombies. Saw so it happen firsthand with my family, so I sent me and my wife away. She's pregnant with our first, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to keep them safe and rebuild this community from scratch. For now they call me Dwayne Razor. That's my name. But soon they'll all be calling me the Slaughter Creek Slasher of the Dead. tired these days. Yeah, yeah just trying to make these go by. Oh. Hoping that it's almost over sooner than later. Uh. Me too. Did you feel it? Feel what? He kicked. He's been doing it all day. <laughs> he? How do you know? He talks to me. Yeah, what does he say? Killing me. <laughs> I want to name him Jesse after my dad. What do you think? Jesse Razor. I love that. Yeah, you like it? How long were you out for? Not too long. Long enough to catch a body. Where is it? It's in the library. Sprinkled the lime water on him and he gave out. It's working. Crazy how nobody was able to think of that when things were going haywire. Cut him to pieces. Yeah. Only found a girl back more powerful than before. Which 
Tron. I had a bad dream. It felt really real this time. Just fine, stupid. Oh, well, tell me. You went out hunting. With your brother. I know. Mm. I know. It's it's fine. No, keep going. I really want to know. Okay. So. That we're gone for a while and I started to get worried and so I waddled outside and as soon as I stepped outside and I saw you walking back I knew that you were different. You all got bit and you were coming after me and I was fucking terrified and so I made it back into the house and locked every door and my heart was pounding through the roof. I don't know. I was quiet for a little bit. Until y'all started tearing down the walls like wild animals and I've never seen you like that before. And then your brother. He... He what? Come on. It's just a dream. <laughs> no. He backed me up against the wall and opened up my stomach and he took the baby and I was terrified. I know it's just a dream but it felt really real. Yeah. It's never gonna happen. Not under my watch. Even if I do get bit, which I won't. I'll never let that happen to you. You understand? You're the love of my life, okay? Just... I have it all under control. Everything's gonna work out. I'm gonna fix all of this. Everything's gonna be fine. I got it taken care of now. Okay. Okay, you can relax now. All right, get ready. Relax. All right. Tell me about that collage over there. My collage. <laughs> My end of days collage. I never told her I got bit. How could I? I? Can't afford to lose her. She's the most important thing in my life. Plus, there's no way she could tell. Thank God. It happened last week. It still stresses me out thinking about it. As soon as it happened, I rushed back as fast as I could. I tried to wash it off, but there was no water. No nothing. Everything was shut off. Looked all over the house until I found a couple of old limes sitting in the back of the pantry. God, I squeezed out every last bit of lime like my life depended on it. Because it did. I prayed all night and the next day I was fine. That's how I knew that the lime water was a saving grace to all of this. Lime made cure in the apocalypse, who would have thought? Or maybe it's not, I don't know. I'm no fucking scientist. Definitely no fucking Milos. But it worked enough for me to try. So I left the bucket outside for days until it rained. Then walked hundreds of miles on any side of town until I got enough laps to last. Hope it does last, we'll see. But there has to be another way. Something else. Something bigger. Better. Stronger. Now I'm gonna figure it out.
It's been three weeks, and I've been up, just roaming around this wasteland, looking for her, my jewel, the greatest thing that ever happened to me. The paranoia is the worst part of it all, wondering what could have happened to her. If I'll ever see her again. That's just them talking. Demons inside. It's all bullshit. She's smart. I know she's safe. They're just trying to get me to stop. Get me to quit. I gotta say, they're doing a good job. Maybe one day they'll come close. But not today.